Welcome to a brand new season of Shine a Light Podcast. Woo. And we are so excited to be back and putting this thing in drive. Brand new season of a brand new year too. It's not 2023 no more. We're 24. We're level 24. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, we hope everybody had a wonderful year. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving. And uh, But we're going to just have a short episode. Just going to kind of get everybody up to date while we've been up to. A lot. We've been up to a lot. And we got, <laughs> it's going to be fun, exciting. Mm. We're also going to talk about the plans for Shine a Light for 2024 as well. We got a lot happening in the year of 24. Level 24. A lot. Somebody should comment level 24. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, what have you been up to, baby? I, uh, back in December, I officially finished up my college semester, so I am done. All right. I am not going back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm done. You're completely done. So I got that done, got all the exams finished. Um, and now we're in full drive for the wedding. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. And that's one of the big things that is happening in 2024. And uh, we're very excited about it. And when we get married, June 8th, that's going to be at the church, ain't it? Yep. Our home church, Bible Boy Church. Shout out to our home church. We got boxes back here. Yeah. <laughs> Just notice it's in the video. Well, yes, we had got had some boxes. We're getting prepared. We're getting prepared. We have we have almost all of what what can we say like everybody's attire for the wedding almost Except completely two. done. Um, we're missing two dresses. Yeah, and a pair of suspenders. Yep, and that's it. And that's it. But we're gonna get that ordered. I actually have them picked out. Like I have them all in my cart. Oh, all right. So. Let's yeah. go. We're about got it. So we got the attire about done. I still got to get my dress. Um, I have yeah, I still got to do that. Um, and then we're going to be full blast in decorations. That's right. What yeah. kind of decorations are we doing again? We're doing a uh, like a pastel yellow and then a navy, and we're putting a music theme in with it. Ooh. So kind of. <laughs> you know that. I you're acting like you're like clueless. <laughs> it's like, wow. Incredible. I think it's a great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we put the music into it because we're both pretty musical people. He is definitely a lot more musical than me. Like, he was like, he's a hummingbird pretty much. He like sings 24 7. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's kind of what we've been up to. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Oh, and then after that, I believe our church is hosting its first ever VBS, and we're excited about that. Oasis of Ventures is, I believe, is what we're doing this year. Yes. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a whole week, and we're excited about that. And then, uh, really nothing else after that till probably, I guess, sometime in late September or October, we'll be starting the rehearsals for our Christmas play again. Christmas season again. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, that's why we actually took a break from uh, Shine a Light for the whole month of December. The month of December was crazy. Oh, yeah. And that's why we decided to not do any more episodes. We decided to end that season because we had a lot on our plate with the Christmas play. But on top of that, you had her college, of course, she's already said. On top of that, they were also moving. So, like, there was, uh, time just really did not permit us for Shine a Light. But yeah. we're, we're in full throttle now. We're ready to go. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, kind of the laid out for Shine a Light this year. Uh, we're going to start in a brand new season. And our goal, unless something happens to where we're not able to, our goal is to do an episode every other Friday. We'll have a new episode every other Friday uploaded on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I as well on YouTube if you want to watch it by video. And, um, see his going... handsome face. <laughs> Everybody wants to see his face. 
But everybody wants to see this beautiful, amazing, God-fearing, Holy Ghost-filled, water-baptized, sanctified, preaching machine. My God, I felt that one. Preaching machine, fiance, sound to be Sister Burke. Hallelujah. I already claim her as my wife. It's just not legal, you know? <laughs> okay. That's we got to do that, too. We have to go to the courthouse, marriage get our marriage license. license. I don't understand why we have to have a license to get married. Like, me having a license to be married does not let me to know that I know how to be married. Hey, like, a driver's license, it lets you know how to drive. That's what I was about to say. A marriage license, it don't teach me how to be married. So, I don't know why it's called a marriage license. <laughs> okay. That's funny. I didn't think about that. That's actually pretty funny. It would be you... called a marriage permit. <laughs> You're oh permitted to be married. And if you and see if you pass or not. Oh. Oh, Lord. And this is the first episode of the new season. And then we're going to continue to the end of april uh, then we're going to end this season in april at the end of april okay go ahead we're at walmart parking lot by the way this is kind of like our go-to spot <laughs> walmart we go to walmart all the time oh you can't go wrong in walmart that's his first love oh my when God. it comes to stores like walmart is just like i always tell him he's like there was one day he was like milk is my favorite store and i said mm -mm. Walmart is your first love. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Belka is not. That's funny. I like Walmart. Yes. It's definitely comes in handy. <laughs> it's like the only store we have here. <laughs> like the biggest store. It is. But we're going to do a new episode to the end of April. And then we're going to be taking a two month break. Because we're getting married. Because we're getting married. And that's the month of May is going to be chicka boom 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 da boom boom. And then at the end of May. We're having our household showers. That's probably when it no, was. At the end of April. At the end of April. I don't know why I said May. <laughs> at the end of April. So probably, probably around that time is probably when we'd stop. Right. At least making the episodes. Yeah, time it's not going to permit us in May and of course June because we want to enjoy that month. I mean, if we if we did get the time, we could always like have a bunch of episodes backed up to where you could keep going That's through true. May. But we'll see how that goes. We don't know 100% if it's going to go that way. We got more time now than we did. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> or Will and we'll be coming back with a new season in July. And then we're going to go to the end of October. And then we'll mm. be taking November, December off uh, for the holidays. But of, like we said already, uh, we'll have the Christmas production at the church. And that's going to require a lot of our time. And so oh, we'll yeah. be ending it in October. And it's if the good. Lord tarries even further, then we'll start a new season this time next year in 25. Woo, 25. I feel like after uh, we get married, uh, we'll be able to be in our own home and be able to do our episodes. Yeah, it it'll be easier because, like, with when you're still dating, you have to figure out, like, evenings to be together. <laughs> and even in the evenings that you're together, you don't always have time. But when you're married, you're together, like, every evening. So you can take, like, 30 minutes out of your evening to do a podcast. Like, it's not that difficult. It shouldn't right. be. I don't know. I'm not, I've never been married, so I don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> Me either. But in my imagination, that's how I think it's going to go. But I don't know. We'll see. What's your plan for 2024? Getting ready to be married. <laughs> Pretty much. That's half of the year. The other half of the year is... Enjoying it. Yeah. Pretty much. We've, we've Our relationships come a, a long ways. Yes. It really has. We've known each other for about almost nine years. It right has at been nine, nine years. years. Oh, really? Yeah. Nine years? This year makes nine years. Well, this month makes nine years. <laughs> wow. Nine years we've known each other. Yep. And then we, uh, we dated before, actually. But we didn't really have, like, a serious relationship. We were too young. It wasn't, like, a romantic relationship. No. Or anything. It was, like, we were just closer friends. We'll put it that way. Yeah, we were buddies. And we still are. We're best friends, and all, and you always be my best friend. Yeah, you always be mine. And then we just decided to be friends. How long did we? Was we like in that stage? Was it two years? Uh, the broken up stage. We were, uh, yeah, exactly a little over two years, but like two weeks, two years and two weeks or something. But we started talking before then, like in December of 2020. Yeah, we got like our first picture together was in February 2021. Uh, and then, uh, and then we got together on the 26th of September, 2021. And then we've dated since then. <laughs> yep. And then 
Of course, 2023 was a great year. Oh, yeah, it was. It was a year. <laughs> it was a year. We got engaged. It went by so quick. It did go by quick. We got engaged in June, on June the 8th. Ooh, because of leap year, it, it was able to be on a Saturday. I know, that's really cool. Literally one year. Which really worked. Wow. I know there's some couples, you know, we've heard stories that people have been engaged for like six months. We've heard nine months. Two I've years. heard two years. I've heard four years. That's Boy, actually that's... Uh, Brother Terry and Sister Melissa. Oh, They were wow. engaged for four years. If we got anybody watching or listening and you're married, tell us how long y'all were engaged before you got married. That'd be interesting. It'd be cool to see. It'd be, so, it'd be funny if somebody says 15 days. Yeah. Days. Uh, what's it, uh, Brother Tony Spell and his wife, they got, he, he proposed to her and they got married like in 72 hours. Seriously? Yeah. Wow, that's the easy way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can get married at courthouses. You can have yeah. a judge to, but we're not going to have no judge do our wedding. We're going to have our pastor, my grandfather. He's going to be the officiant Woo. at the weddings. We're going to let him do it. We're excited about the wedding. We got we got a lot up our on our plan, planner, I guess I should say. Yeah, the month of January, like in my planner, it's like. <laughs> and don't forget, <laughs> do. don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. Slowly but surely, we will get there. Right. But I have sister Melissa, the one that he was talking about. They got they were engaged for four years. She's actually helping me with a lot. She's so good at it. Ain't she, she is very creative. Yes, she like, is. She has a gift for it, and like she's gonna be a big wedding planner in it. She we're excited so good about it. We're very excited about it, and we do appreciate each and every one that takes time to watch us and listen to us, mm -hmm. whether if it's our YouTube channel with the vlogs or shine a light, you know, and we're going to bring y'all along our journey, and um, yes. we'll, we'll keep everybody up to date as time progress, where we're at, and I'm excited about it. We do. I'm very excited about it. Yes, we are. And not only that, for this year, for the at least for this season... Uh, Shine a Light Podcast. We're going to share some good topics with you, some thoughts, encouragements. It's our plan. We got one already. It's cooking, but it's not ready just yet. But it's cooking. It's cooking. But I'm excited to do these episodes. They're going to be fun. But we just wanted to make this short little episode and just kind of say hi to everybody. And hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> and get everybody up to date what we've been up to and where we're going. And we're this train's in full motion now. It's going choo choo, and I'm going slow down. <laughs> no, it's funny because you you can look at like the amount of time you have until you're married, and we have like five months and what three days or something. See, this episode will be uploaded on January the. Well, in the time of the recording, we have five oh. months and. What, yeah, we're days? we're recording this on the fifth of January. Yeah. So you can look at five months and think, wow, that is so much of a long time until we're married and then when you're trying to get everything together you're like do i have enough time to get everything together like it's so it's, it's just it's funny but and that's why we're taking a break in the month of may because yeah. for anybody that's listening or watching and you're married you it has to be a process to get everything in roll and we want to make sure that we got plenty of time that's why we're i mean we've already got stuff going right now as we speak for our marriage because we don't want to be last minute uh, but we don't want to be too quick or in a rush. We just want to make sure we're on a good pace. No. Yeah. No, no yeah, no. I don't, I don't know. It's... You were in a whole other world. No, I think I said no to one thing you said and then yes to another thing. Oh. I don't know what I was doing. I was just thinking <laughs> about the fact how me and my family have just moved and then have to move again. <laughs> You're just going to enjoy the room for just a few months. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. But it'll work. Yeah, well, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to... Really get to enjoy the rest of my life with Madison. You know, the doctors, y'all know my testimony if you've heard it. You know, the doctor says I'll never be able to be married and provide for uh, my wife and have children, you know. And I've accomplished everything on their bucket list except those two things. And we're getting yep. ready to check that one off here in just a few months. Woo! Give the devil another black eye. <laughs> That's right, and if the Lord tarries in a few years, we're, we're going to have children to bring on the next generation yep. at the birth family and our heritage. Oh, I can't wait for that. Just being able to carry it, this truth on, 
and carry on this legacy and heritage that we have. Oh, man alive. From one, if the Lord tarries that far, I can't wait to see this next generation and continue it on. It makes me think about Moses and Joshua so much. And then also you read about Elijah and Elisha. <laughs> Woo. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. I'm excited to marry Madison. She stole my heart, so I got to steal her last name. But she always will be grimmed in blood and heart. True. She will, and I appreciate her and her family. Uh, they're just so sweet and so kind, I tell you. A wonderful family. Very blessed to call them my mom and dad as well. And I'm also thankful and blessed for my family. I'm thankful for my mom and dad and both sides of her parents and my parents. They're supporting us all the way, really? encouraging us, you know, and getting us to that limit or uh, getting us to that peak. They would like to see us stand on, and we really appreciate our parents so much. And excited that we can join together in our marriage. We can join our families to one family. It's going to be wonderful. Yep, it is. But we're going, like we said, we'll keep everybody up to date what we'll be doing. And uh, we got some great episodes for you. So, uh, new episodes between now and the end of April, Lord willing, we'll have a new episode for you every other Friday. And then we'll continue that to the end of April. Take a two-month break as we prepare for marriage. And then in the month of July, Lord willing, we'll start back with a brand new season. And we'll do every other week till the end of October. And if the Lord just tarries more years, we'll probably just kind of keep in that rhythm. No, most likely. <laughs> most likely. Anything else you'd like to say, baby? Nope. You've said it all. I've said it all. Nope. What about you want a chocolate frosty? No, I got... We have, oh. we have who's in there. Oh, yeah. We went to, we got these at Walmart. I got my lemon loaf ice cake. That's the best part right there, by the way. The yeah, the icing really is the best part. And you got some type of pie? Yeah, I've had this before. Cho really oh, chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's All good. right. And then I got it off the pepper, and you got, what did you give? Mango tea. Mango tea from Taco Bell. Yeah, we went to Taco Bell for supper tonight. We're going to Bristol tomorrow. The weather's nice. We're supposed to get some ice, I believe is what they're saying. Yeah. So hopefully, weather, I need a haircut. A little bit. <laughs> I need a haircut. That's why I'm wearing a hat. And then we'll probably go to Cracker Bell. We may vlog it tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I actually had a dream that I gave myself a haircut last night. Oh, boy. I really did. I dreamed I had the, the clippers and I was doing my sides and my sides looked good, but I didn't know how to cut my top. <laughs> Cause I, I think the top would be easier. Well, it would be easier. You could just, but you want to keep that top trim because, you know, you comb it over. But I don't know. Should I do a different hairstyle? I don't know. We'll see. No, I'd say keep it the same this time. Keep it same. Definitely begin the fresh cut. When we get married on our wedding day. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, folks. Well, we appreciate you all for taking time out your day and letting us be part of your day through Shine the Light Podcast. And Lord willing, we'll have a new episode for you here in a couple weeks. But until then, be blessed from the best. Here. She hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On Shine a Live Podcast. God bless you, everybody. We'll see you later.